What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen for today's quickie recipe and it really is a quickie recipe. We are making this delicious grilled salmon in a dairy-free creamy Dijon sauce and what I love about this dish is that the flavors are so complex but it's the easiest thing to make. Seriously, I'm gonna have you in and out of the kitchen in less than 30 minutes and probably less than 20 minutes if you really know what you're doing. The only thing you gotta do is just sear the salmon and then make the sauce and then put the salmon in the sauce. It's just that simple. Now this recipe is keto friendly, but if you are a low carb warrior, but not necessarily keto, then just make a slight adjustment. And that is instead of using the full fat coconut milk, you're gonna use the light coconut milk. And remember to pair this with something that is gonna be equally calorie conscious. So for me, when I like to eat dishes that are a little bit higher in fat, because remember the salmon has fat and also so does the coconut milk, then I also like to do a little bit of a low carb pairing. So for me, rice would be out of the equation for this particular meal. But if you are bulking or you are a hard gainer, then you can eat that rice. You could even eat this with a potato. It would be amazing. But that's for the people who actually have a really high calorie intake. For the rest of us, <laughs> you could pair this with some cauliflower rice, you could pair it with some cauliflower mash actually. The choice is up to you, but just keep it low carb for the pairing. All right guys, if you are ready to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty, then let's get started. So last week, Jesse had the silly idea to think that he could try to stump me with a dad joke. And the crazy thing is, he's actually a dad, two times over. So we're gonna see if he can actually guess my joke, all right? So, all right, what did the fish say whenever it posted bail? No. I'm off the hook. <laughs> Dang it, I should've had that one. <laughs> that was an easy was one. So easy. I really I gave that one to you. It. I really gave that yeah. one to you. Yeah, it's pressure, it's, there's lights, you know, I don't know how you do this. This is the easy That's part, bro. The camera. <laughs> Good job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will retain my championship and my title right now. <laughs> Let's get on to the video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our salmon. I'm gonna just sprinkle on a little bit of sea salt and some pepper. Then we're gonna fire up our skillet. We're gonna add just a little bit of oil to it. And then we're going to add in our beautiful salmon fillets face down. We're gonna give them a nice sear and then flip them over once you get a good sear on the top part of it. Now, you don't want to cook these all the way through, so leave these just like this. Just get a good sear on the top part of it, and then we're going to remove it from the skillet. Place that same skillet back on the heat, and then we're going to reduce the heat right now to medium. Toss in some garlic, some full-fat coconut milk. Now, if you are keto, use full fat. If you're doing low-carb, but you want to just be conscious about your calories, then just do um, low-fat. Then we're gonna add in some Dijon. This is gonna help to cut some of the coconut flavor, some dried thyme, and a little bit of chicken broth. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. Then add a pinch of sea salt and some pepper. Do a quick taste test. Oh my gosh. So, that's <laughs> so good. I wanna put my spoon back in there. Remember that it's gonna be really thin right now when it's super hot, so when it cools down, the sauce will thicken up. But if you do wanna thicken it, all you have to do, just add in a little bit of arrowroot. Mix it in with a little bit of water or some leftover chicken broth, get nice and slushy, and then put this right here. And the last thing we're gonna do is toss in some veggies. Now we're gonna to toss in some fresh spinach. And the cool thing about spinach is that it wilts so quickly and very easily. And see what I mean? You had, that was about four or five cups of spinach, and then all of a sudden it's reduced down to this. And now, let's add the salmon back to the skillet. Mmm, just nestle the salmon right down in there. This is a meal I would love to come home to. Let this continue cooking for about three more minutes, and then remove it from the skillet, so that way everything just kind of melts together and the sauce thickens up. and then finish it off with a little bit of fresh parsley. It's like a forest, a creamy forest. <laughs> and then only if needed, a little bit of sea salt and some pepper. Doesn't this look like something that you would wanna come home to? What a delicious meal. Oh man, get you a nice piece of salmon. We're gonna pair this with some cauliflower rice. Ultimate low carb meal that's just delicious and full 
And you know I'm gonna have to get me a nice taste of this. The way the salmon just breaks off. Should be nice and flaky. This is like butter. I promise you, seriously, you gotta taste this. In fact, don't taste it because I'm eating all this myself. This is so good. I'm impressed with myself. You ever cook something and be like, dang, you really tore that up, Kev. Kev, you just did the darn thing. I'm telling you, you did that. I, I, I did that. That's it for today's video. I know that y'all are going to love this incredible recipe. This is something that you can make for your dinner. This is a great date night recipe. So if you're trying to impress wifey or a hubby or just anyone out there, then I guarantee that this right here will not lose. Plus, you can create this entire meal in less than 20 minutes. So you are in and out of the kitchen in little to no time at all. If you like food videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below. And also remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! Bye, guys.